The usage of blockchain technologies for a wide range of digital solutions is fast gaining popularity, and the world of app development needs to catch up. Blockchain is growing, and this video explores blockchain apps, also known so-called decentralized apps, which are relatively recent phenomenon, dApps. Huh? How? Don't worry. This video provides comprehensive answers to the key queries you need to know to understand blockchain applications and their advantages. Welcome friends, and we hope you're well. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So what exactly is a dApp? Let's begin by giving a clear description of the term dApps, which represents decentralized applications, which may be described as a decentralized network-based program or applications that function as a counterpoint to ordinary or centralized applications. Dapps are a collection of connected smart contracts, each smart contract carries out a particular task within the application, in the background or on the back end. It's crucial to realize that dApps are built on blockchain technology, even if they frequently resemble conventional apps. Generally speaking, these factors distinguish a dApp from the typical application. A decentralized application or dApp must always operate independently and be open source. Its data and records must also always be accessible to the general public. The app also needs to utilize a cryptographic token to protect the network. By now you're aware of how blockchain technology functions. There won't be a need to expatiate on that. Decentralization, what does it mean? Unquestionably, the concept of decentralization is central to blockchain applications. But exactly what does that mean? Nowadays, the majority of apps operate on networks that are under centralized supervision. Your information is kept on centralized systems by businesses like banks, social media platforms, and streaming services. When you use these programs, a request is sent to their servers. And if you log in information, such as your username and password, it's accurate, the response is provided to you. Although this method of centralizing online transactions between a provider and a customer is effective, it leads to enormous amounts of user data, often private and personal being under the hands of a small number of extremely large organizations. Your personal information is vulnerable to breaches and invasions since it is in the hands of large internet companies like Google and Amazon, which profit from it well. These weaknesses in centralized networks data privacy have stoked interest in privacy preserving technologies like blockchain and dApps. Dapps attempt to eliminate the intermediary and decentralized the ownership of the program. Like many other current blockchain solutions, currently if you use Uber, you don't only pay the driver to take you from point A to point B. The service is more costly for users and drivers earn less than they would if they were driving independently. Because of the middleman party which gets a sizable share of the transaction. This requirement for a middleman is removed by dApps. Any type of transaction that takes place between a provider and a consumer is recorded on the blockchain. What purpose do dApps serve? DApps serve as a bridge between Web 2.0 platforms currently in use and Web 3.0, the next generation of the internet in which decentralization will be crucial. There are fewer DApps than traditional apps because blockchain technology is still in its infancy. However, the application ecosystem is beginning to diversify due to a never-ending stream of innovation. So what can we anticipate for the future of DApps? What do they resemble and what do they serve? Here are a few instances. Number 1. Decentralized Exchanges or DEXs Web browsers are commonly used to access dApps. You find an interface after visiting the DEX web address URL where you can connect your Bitcoin wallet to a website or platform. You can then start engaging with the DEX dApp and making use of the supported functions like NFT markets, liquidity pools, lotteries, and much more. Number 2. Gaming Decentralized gaming is one of the most well-liked elements of the blockchain ecosystem. In well-known game dApps like Splinterlands, Axie Infinity, and My DeFi Pet, non-fungible tokens or NFTs are employed to ensure that players maintain the value they accure in the metaverse. As a player, you can purchase particular in-game goods like NFTs, boosting the gameplay by creating a one-of-a-kind collection of, say, weaponry or extras. Number 3. Cryptocurrency Wallets The ecosystem of the decentralized Web 3.0 depends on crypto wallet dApps, to buy, trade, and exchange bitcoins, custodial or non-custodial crypto wallets are necessary. A platform known as a custodial wallet keeps your private keys, which are comparable to your account PIN or password, secure. Binance and Coinbase are two instances of custodial wallets. You are in charge of non-custodial wallets, so nobody else can access your private keys. Zengo and Edge are examples. 
Number 4. Social Media Platforms Similar to how social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram do it, social media dApps like Steemit foster online discussion. But dApps reverse the flow of value and pay you for taking part in the network, not for gathering and selling your data. What categories of dApps exist? Even though all dApps function in the same way, we can categorize them into three groups based on their unique uses and protocol layers. A protocol layer is similar to a layer of a wedding cake where several levels can be stacked on top of one another to provide the cake, or in this context, the dApp, an additional feature. Type 1. A decentralized application with its blockchain network comprising the bottom layer of the cake. Bitcoin, frequently referred to as the original dApp, is an illustration of a Type 1 dApp. Type 2. Type 2 dApps incorporate a utility token that is necessary for them to operate and they are constructed on top of Type 1 dApps. An example of a distributed trading platform built on the Bitcoin blockchain is the Omni Protocol. Type 3. These dApps function according to the Type 2 dApp protocol. For instance, the Safe or Secure Access for Everyone network is a decentralized data storage and communication network that enables the creation of websites and apps that are impervious to censorship. The Safe network uses the Omni Protocol to distribute safe coins. You could argue that Type 1 dApps are similar to your device's operating system. Type 2 are similar to the browser that runs on the operating system. And Type 3 are similar to browser extensions like ad blockers or password managers. As a result, dApps continue to develop and incorporating new functional layer in the guise of protocols. What advantages do dApps offer? Now that we have a good understanding of what a dApp looks like and how it works, Let's discuss some of the most significant advantages of these blockchain applications. Number 1. Utility Tokens Many dApps include a utility token that controls the platform and its functions, similar to how you pay to use traditional programs. For instance, several utility tokens support protocols like in-app purchases and other features, because they may continuously add and enhance functionality to an already existing layer in the dApp. Utility tokens enable high scalability. Number 2. Dependability Due to the large number of nodes covered by blockchain networks, dApps are more trustworthy than standard apps. All users may lose access to the application and their data if the centralized server of an application like an Instagram break. A decentralized application is not this. A breakdown of an app requires that all nodes or server crash simultaneously, which is significantly less likely if several decentralized servers are employed as opposed to just one. Number 3. Open Source The source code must be available to all users on the network because blockchain apps are decentralized. In a market without a middleman, users must recognize and authenticate each program made to avoid fraud and malicious infections. The community may then guarantee the value and viability of each dApp created on the blockchain. Number 4. Decentralized Consensus Blockchains must rely on consensus processes to ensure the legitimacy of all transactions because they lack a centralized power. A dApp transaction is generated and the network as a whole is responsible for verifying it. What does the future hold? Dapps are only starting up, however, there are already a large number of dapps that offer a variety of activities like playing games, sending money and taking care of your virtual animals. What does that mean for the creation of new applications? Market volatility is to be expected as blockchain applications are still in the early stages. However, the technology is tenacious and shows enormous promise, particularly in terms of data ownership and security. Kindly comment on what you think in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.